Hi everyone and welcome to Huji Productions. Today I'm going to attempt to straighten out this steering wheel. The wheels are currently dead ahead but the wheels offset. So I'm going to undo the wheel and move it a few splines along and then refit it. So first off you've got to remove this which you either do by hand if it's loose enough or very carefully with the blade of a screwdriver or preferably something plastic it looks like this one's been mangled somewhat in the past by people being uh, overzealous with it so inside there's the main nut that's holding it on so we're going to need to remove that uh, need to undo that. Um, best to use the correct size socket or one that at least fits very well. This connection here is for the horn so when the horn is when the horn is pressed in you see that this contact here is pushed onto this contact and these are connected to the center pin and they connect to the body of the car and complete the circuit. So that's how the horn works. So I'm going to start by removing this circlip, which I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do whilst holding the camera. Okay. And then you can take off the insulating part and the spring. Put that somewhere that you don't forget and then I'm going to put a bit of masking tape around here otherwise the horn's going to go off every time we short something. Okay so what size socket do we use? Well I've got I've got a 34 mil metric one and actually it goes on but it's a bit of a loose fit probably work quite well if you've got a chewed up nut where the sides are spayed out a bit but I do happen to have amongst my old treasures a nice brittle three quarter Whitworth socket and being a British car that is actually a beautiful fit so I need to get socket drive on that, hold the steering wheel still and see if I can loosen that up. Right, so I'm just gonna see if I can hold this steady and crack this off. Ah. I mean, it has come undone because it shouldn't really be too tight. Now, I'm just gonna loosen that off and then bring you up to show you what I've done and explain why. Okay, so I've loosened the nut off, but I haven't taken it right off because if you take the nut off, you've got to thump the steering wheel to break the taper to get it off the splines so you can then rotate it and put it back on different arrangement of splines. And if you don't leave the nut on, you end up swacking it into your face. Right, I'm gonna see if I can swack it with my hands or even pull it. Doesn't want to budge by pulling. Oh, yeah, I'll take that back, it did. Okay, so that would have flung into my face if I hadn't have done that. So I can now take off the rest of the nut. And I'll try and measure that in a minute. So we find out what it actually is. I just want to come out now. So now now stuck in there yep that's now stuck in the socket I have to hoik that out in a minute so I can now take the steering wheel off and we can see that if I bring you over 
you can see the splines there and then you've got this taper down here that it kind of latches onto so in order to set it straight you need to move it until the teeth on the steering wheel oh hang on spines on there end up with different spines on there and it's straight so put you back down there and pop this back on and I can set it at least considerably more straight than it was I don't know whether I'm going to be out by one spline or not but I can always redo it so that's what I do and then pop the nut back on um, give it a gentle tighten and then pop the cap back on uh, and then take the cap off because uh, obviously I've realized now I forgot to put this back on with the circlip and taken the masking tape off so I need to do all of that to put it back together However, now we've got the steering wheel off, what I'll do is I'll pop off the screws here, here, and here, so we can have a look at the wiring and mechanism of the cancellation, of the indicator cancellation, because a lot of people ask questions about the wiring there and how it works. We can take a quick look at that. Ah. Okay, we're recording, so try and see if I can get these off with this sole random screwdriver that happens to be in the car. There are only tiny little screws that are on this one. I probably need an equally small screwdriver. No, that's going okay. Pop this one off. And then bring you over right so this can now be pulled off and you can see the mechanism inside so this is the wiring we've got uh, this brown and black wire here comes up goes onto this copper assembly here and then you've got and hold it steady you've got a brush here that goes onto this copper copper brass uh, conducting ring here so whichever rotation the steering wheel is in you've got a connection between here and this part here and the wire here is isolated from the body here the slip ring is isolated through this plastic to this body here so between the inside of this slip ring here and the wire is where your feed is for your switch of the motor uh, not motor, the horn so we'll just have a look at that from the other angle so that's how the horn gets its contacts then the, the indicator, we've got a mechanism in the middle there, which I need to find. Right, okay. So, once, hopefully you can see in the middle there, if I can hold this camera steady long enough. Okay, so on this steering, thing shaft on this there's this little pin sticking out and that's what cancels the indicators so we indicate left and you can see that this lever down here has come into the path of this peg sticking out 
So the peg, if you were turning the steering wheel left, would go past it. And then when it came back, it would reset the arm and the indicator would go off. So looking back from here, going past and cancelling. So on this car when we got it, this this arm was actually broken and I had to re-solder it onto the insulating plate here. So you can lose your electrical path when this bit's missing or broken. That could be a reason why a horn isn't working. For self-cancelling indicators, when the wheels are straight ahead, this peg needs to be between these two little bits that stick out. You can see the lower one there and the upper one. So it needs to be in that central position. The only way of doing that is by loosening the whole column down at the bottom down behind here there's a clamp you can loosen that pull up the whole steering column turn it round put it back in the splines at the bottom and then redo that clamp up and then when the peg's in the right place as long as the rest of the mechanism is there then it will cancel properly So if we want to have a look at the wiring behind, in case someone needs to know what goes where. This is what we've got on this one. If I could get the camera to behave. Right, so, steering wheel going back on. The wheels, I believe, are straight ahead at the moment, so I can put that back in, in the right place. And I have now forgotten that the nut was stuck. Oh, lucky. Right, I'll wind the nut back on by hand first. Once I get the thread going, which is going to be tricky, isn't it? Just know it's going to be awkward. Okay. Wiggle that up. Pop that back on, tightened up. Take off the masking tape. Put the insulation part back through the wire. And then there's a little circlip to go back on, on the end of it which you can't see. Hang on. So that's all back together. Insulating part, spring, circlip. And then it's just a case of popping this back on and making sure it's all nice and straight. And job done. So, Next thing is to would be a road test and see whether it's correct or whether it's a spline out again. So I'm hoping to do a road video soon because we have done quite a few videos on this car now and until a very short time ago we couldn't get the car to run. It just didn't want to know but it's starting quite good now. So we can pop it down the road and back, see how much noise it makes. 
and do what you're meant to do with cars, drive them. So thanks everyone for watching this. Hope it hasn't been too tedious. Um, hope it's been useful. So I get just as a reminder, I can get this. The socket that I used to get the nut off was a three quarter Rich Standard Whitworth. Cheers everyone for watching. Bye. I mean, that is a gorgeous colour, isn't it?